Kitty Cranes, this is a reminder that next week Friday is the release of my Parrots movie. It is by far the biggest project I have ever done on this channel. So please, 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 it would mean the world to me if you could share the trailer. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, anywhere you can. I'll leave a link to download the trailer in description box below. Let's watch the trailer. The life of a YouTuber parrot is not all glamour and fun though. People think they know me, and yet. My name is Angel. Hey Reigns, welcome to another Cash or Trash, a show where we review multiple things to make sure that I'm... She wastes her money. And you don't. <laughs> she doesn't waste her money either, right? Nah, it's my responsibility. Take one for the team, girl. Yeah. Today we're going to be looking at space food. We all know that my humor is <clears throat> out of this world. What, do you have better space puns than I do? Most probably. Let's hear it. How do you get a baby astronaut to sleep? How? You rock it. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. It's great! <laughs> Give us a score from 1 to 10 on that pun. And being absolutely excellent. It was excellent. Bring on another one. Why would a cow want to go to outer space? Why? So we can see the Milky Way. No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Did you read them? Huh? Did you read? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have been exposed. They're not your jokes. <laughs> They're hilarious. <laughs> and so today we're going to be checking out five different space foods that I picked up the last time I was in Japan. And they were approximately six dollars each. With flavors like chicken rice, pudding, strawberry shortcake, chocolate cake, and last but not least, strawberry ice cream. Ice cream? Yes, ice cream. Are you ready for this? I don't know how I feel about chicken rice. <laughs> That's the first one we're starting with. <laughs> um, no. I've never had any kind of space food. Let us know in the comment section below whether you grains have ever tried. I have a question. But I'm, I'm asking them a question first. Have you ever tried any space food? And if you did, what was it? And how, how was, was it? it? Okay, what's your question? Um, I got lost. <laughs> oh yeah, do you think it's just dehydrated or do you think it's like powder? Oh no, no, we're not even supposed to use water. I don't think. I don't know. So the first thing we're going to try? Chicken, chicken rice. rice. And according to this package, you're yep. supposed to eat it as, as is. is. So we're not supposed to put any water. I think we're going to attempt anyways. Well, we'll see if it's edible without water. And then worst case, we can add some hot water and hopefully it tastes like rice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. If we look at the nutritional value, it is 148 calories. That's not bad. It's actually very lean. With only 4.3 grams of protein. Protein. All right, so let's see what it looks like. I am super excited and curious. Your phrase is what's inside. Don't tell me what to do. Time to see what's inside. <laughs> Sniff it. Okay, you ready? It smells like Mexican rice. Yeah, it smells also like ketchup, right? Yeah, it's weird. This is what it looks like on the inside. It literally just looks like dried rice. It does. Is it freeze dried? I think it is freeze dried. We can see that there's some peas and chicken in there. Let's take out a plate. Zika? <gasps> You're the little sister. Get your butt and go get me some stuff, you little gopher. That's what I thought. Yeah, close the door behind you. Close it! No, take me! So as you can see, it really does look like a plate of, of rice. rice and chicken and peas. And I, the more I smell it, the more it really does smell like ketchup, oh, like yeah. seasoned ketchup, right? <laughs> I'm sniffing it so intensely, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's ketchup. All right, so I think it would be only fair to try every ingredient separately. On its own? Yeah. All right, so here's- I mean, I got spoons, but I don't think we're gonna use them. Here's a piece of chicken. Do wait for me though. Wait, it's gonna be like the freeze dryer you find in pet stores, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's gonna be so gross, you ready? Yeah, One, and two, three, go. go. Oh. Terrible. <laughs> the second you put it in your mouth and you bite it, it, it turns into powder. <laughs> oh. It's so gross. So it turns into, into powdered chicken. I'm pretty sure astronauts are really well hydrated. <laughs> you I don't wash it down with water. Because when it turns into powder, it just spreads across <laughs> your whole mouth. And it's almost it's like, like... It blows up. It's like powder and then yeah. it dries up your whole mouth. <laughs> and it's like if you take baby powder and you do this and it spreads, that's exactly the feeling, at least for me. Yeah, for me too. It was gross. Are you still chewing? Yeah, I didn't want it to. I was gonna spit it out. No, spitters are... Time, spitters are quitters. I am not a quitter. <laughs> spitters are quitters. That was a small piece of chicken and it was just like, I'm really afraid for the peas now. Peas. It's kind of like It chips. better not blow up in my mouth. What? Wow. 
three, two, <laughs> one, go. Oh, that was better. <laughs> it tastes like nothing. <laughs> It tasted like peas chips. If you've ever had like fava yeah. bean chips or edamame yeah. chips, it's just dried bean. It was pretty good. It right. tastes like nothing to me. Here's a cluster of rice. This is for you. Thanks. I'm pretty sure it's gonna feel like chips. And here's my own cluster of rice. Ready? Ready? Tastes like chips. That's what you were, I You were right. It tastes like ketchup chips. By the way, for those of you who are in the US or anywhere around the world, if you don't have ketchup chips, you're obviously missing, missing out. out. They're my favorite. They are my favorite. I think they're a Canadian staple. Yeah, I think so. Did you know there's actually a Camry only in Montreal that makes ketchup flavored ice cream? I kind of want to try that. Yeah, I kind of want to try it too because it's sweet technically, right? But well. I'm curious now. We should go try it. We, we we'll, could. We'll try it and we'll vlog it. For those of you not following my vlog channel, make sure you check out Nerdy Jackie. But I also know that in Egypt, we don't have ketchup chips, but we have tomato flavored chips. It must be the same thing, no? It's practically the same thing. Yeah. So it's really good. All right, now we're gonna have to eat the whole thing together. You have to make sure you get a piece of chicken in there. No. Yeah. No, I don't want to eat the whole thing. Here's a chicken. Here's a pea. I don't want the chicken. And here's some rice. All right, Sika, so this is your chicken, pea, and rice. Did you just, what did you drop? Did you drop your pea? I dropped a lot of rice. That's okay. That's okay. We, at least you have a chicken and a pea. I don't want to eat the chicken. No, you're going to eat the whole thing. I'm not eating the chicken. Eat the whole thing. Pure pressure. Oh, gross. Three. No, I'm taking it out. No. Vote in the comments. Would you have made her eat it anyways? It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no crying. Ready? Okay, we are the salt. Three, two, one, go. Good girl. Because it's a powder and it feels like it's just coating everything, it ends up coating the rice and the peas. And it's less of an explosion in your mouth of mm. powder. So suddenly the chicken flavor is way more intense on the rice. And it's not as bad. That's actually pretty good. In its dry form, probably give it 8 on 10. Yeah, I would say so too. You want to try putting just water on there? Like hot water? Yeah. And like put a bowl over it for 5 minutes and let it absorb? That's uh, very detailed, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, so here we are 5 minutes later. Oh. It's a little juicier. It's okay, we'll take from the top. We, we need to find more chicken. Okay, here's another chicken and pea and rice. It still smells so ketchupy. So chicken and rice, usually in Japan, does have some kind of ketchup in there. It's a very- Oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of like mac and cheese, where it's a comfort food. Oh. A lot of time in Japan, kids will have ketchup, rice, and chicken. Ready? Yeah. Go. All right, chicken. Mm-hmm. It's not powdery, no. but it's on the rough side. The rice is good. The rice is back to normal, and so is the pea. Yeah. There was a slight crunch in the middle, but I'm assuming if we would have left it a little bit longer, it would have been normal. Yeah, I would still give this an 8 on 10. An 8 on 10. Yeah, it's space actually pretty food. good. Yeah. I would eat this. Anyways, don't eat the chicken apart. Everything else isn't so bad, but the chicken on its own was meh. So for us over here, the chicken rice would definitely be worth your space cash. Worth the space cash. You're supposed to be in sync with me. Okay, fine. Worth your, your space cash. You're not supposed to throw it when it's worth the scash. The scash. Scash. <laughs> English number one. I want to say space cash in one word, so it was a scash. All right, so on to dessert now, because all the rest are dessert, Sika. Yay. <laughs> Wait, can you do the spoon thing? <sighs> no. <laughs> Next we have chocolate, chocolate cake. cake. Why are you off sync with me? It's my show! Follow me! I was gonna pull your hat down, but I'm gonna be nice. You want me to pull your hat down? That's what I thought. Girl! <laughs> this chocolate cake cost me 600 yen, which again is close to six dollars. Is it any good? I have no idea. I'm pretty curious. Sika, I'll let you open this one. Enjoy. It's called Space Sweet. Oh my gosh. I mean, good! It actually looks like a little cake. That's adorable. So the cake itself actually looks like a small piece of cake. The feeling is almost like styrofoamy. Yeah. But it does look really interesting. I'm really curious what the frosting is going to taste like. Did you read the packaging? Do we have to add water to it or no? Most likely not, but we will check. All right, we have... That's a big, sharp, pointy thing. Oh uh, yeah, I've upgraded. And we're going to attempt cutting it in half. I don't think it's gonna work. Even though it is kind of rough and hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa! It blew up. <laughs> I promise I was going very gently. All right, so we're going to be attempting our cake. You have the top 
part that has more frosting. It doesn't smell like chocolate cake. No, it smells like there's chocolate cake at the neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a far smell. It's a far smell of chocolate. Ready? Hello? Hello, Hello chocolate? Hello, chocolate. Why are you gross? Why are you gross? You're still eating it. I'm not sure if I like it or not. So it tastes like, let's say, the top part of an Oreo cookie and you forgot it at the end yeah. of your pantry. It tastes stale. Very stale. Does it taste bad? No. no. But does it taste like chocolate? No. Nah. <laughs> it tastes stale. Is it expired? Did you check the date? Next year. Okay, good. <laughs> I would personally probably just rate this as a stale piece of chocolate cookie. Yeah, I agree. It would probably get a 4 on 10 for me. Yeah, about 4. I think if we had this and I was craving chocolate, I still wouldn't eat it. <laughs> oh wow, that's hardcore. So for us, it's a fail. You want to add hot water to it? Oh, <gasps> Let's add hot water to it. So instead of putting it in a bowl and then pouring water on it, we're just going to dunk it really quickly in hot water and then put it on a plate and then try it. Dunk so it quickly or should we like... Oh. Oh, oh, it's absorbing all the water. So gentle. Once it's hydrated, it actually looks like pretty appetizing. I thought you were going to say something else, like a real piece of <laughs> All right, so we're going to have one each. It's hard on top, but Not soft. This one. this one is soft. Is it? This one's little. Well, my spoon went through it well. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, no. Regrets? Yeah. This chocolate cake space. This chocolate cake space. <laughs> so for us, this <laughs> this co this chocolate. <laughs> this chocolate. It's chocolate. No, it's English, chocolate and English cake. is so good. Today. Chocolate and cake is chocolate. <laughs> this chocolate for us goes straight in the trash. Our next victim is pudding. Pudding. And Jeff, uh, go ahead. Do you want to take over my channel? I said go ahead. Do you want your own channel? Do you want to keep interrupting me because I have things to say? <laughs> Did you just hit my funny, funny elbow? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, pudding in Japan typically refers to custard. custard. So if you're not a fan of pudding, make sure that you stay away from Japanese pudding, which is a very eggy custard, which for me... Number one! You love custard? Yes. Like how much? Like butt pudding custard. You're gross. Your face is gross. <gasps> And this pudding, for those of you who are astronauts and very health conscious, is only 50 calories. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. Oh. <laughs> is that all you get? No, there's more. Oh. So, upon first glance, we get this little cube of eggy colored thing, and it smells... Oh. It almost smells like custard. No, it smells like the... Mm. It smells like... Mm. The body mist you have. Mm, the body mist? Yeah, the vanilla one that you used to buy. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I smell like vanilla. All the time. <laughs> it smells like Rice Krispies. And inside... <laughs> Good job. You saw nothing! I saw everything! It sounds chalky. <laughs> yeah, listen. So we get three little cubes. It literally smells like your body mist. It's right on it. <laughs> Stop calling it my body. Okay. Have you confirmed? Yes. I smell like vanilla? Yes. Okay. Ready? <coughs> no! No salt. Okay, I'm so excited for this, so let's hope. Three, two, one. Oh, oh the texture is weird after some time. It coated my whole mouth with something. It's in my teeth. Okay, how would you best describe this? Um, you know crunchy chocolate bars? Mm -hmm. It feels like the middle in it. You know the texture? Mm -hmm. It's like spongy and oh. it sticks in your teeth. Do they have that in, in the US? Yeah, I think they do. I don't remember what it's called though. It's stuck in my teeth. We'll put a picture over here of the chocolate that we're referring to. It has like this airy, sugary, Dense, crispy middle. Description number one. <laughs> it tastes it's good, but I'm not a fan of how it sticks in my teeth and how it has like this weird coating. It definitely tastes like custard mm -hmm. and it has this really nice vanilla aftertaste to it, mm -hmm. but it does stick to your teeth like it's, it's in it's there. It's right in there, yeah. <laughs> it's gotten, it's found every nook and cranny. <laughs> so, it's on my teeth again. Oh, it's on my lip. It like melts weird. Mm -hmm. Alright, I want to hear your rating first. For the taste, I'd give it an 8. For how it gets stuck in my teeth, I would give it a I'd give it a zero because it's really, oh. I don't like it when things stick into my, stick into my teeth. Stick into my teeth. <laughs> 
<laughs> English is so hard today. You're not Englishing very well. Your score is a four? Yeah. If you want to go ahead and take the... the <laughs> what's the word I'm looking It's for? called the average. Yeah, the average <laughs> would be a four. I would have to agree. For five dollars, you can get way better taste. Well, if you're in space, though, that's different. For space food, I would probably also give it a four. Mind you, though, if I were in space and there were no other kinds of food, this would probably be on my list, probably hiding under one of my pillows because I want it as a snack kind of thing. So do you prefer this or the chocolate cake? This one. Yeah, so I would probably give this a six. Yeah? <laughs> Why are you so well, you just said four before. <laughs> no, you said four. I said four and you said, yeah, I would agree. Did you not? Did we say that? That's free play. <laughs> would be a four. I would have to agree. Probably also give it a four. Also give it a four. <laughs> I don't know, only you grains are gonna know and at the end when this is being edited. <laughs> so for me, this would be worth your skeptical space cash. Skeptical space cash. Next we have strawberry ice cream. You look very skeptical. Well, one, it's probably not cold. Obviously. <laughs> it's not ice cream then. It's probably just dried cream. What I love about these packages is that they really are, as Sika noticed, pretty dramatic. Yeah, they're so dramatic. <laughs> I mean, you're li if, you, if you're living in space because you're eating space food, I'm pretty sure you know what a shuttle looks like, what an astronaut looks like, but they put like this rocket going in space. And again, this ice cream is only 78 calories for health conscious astronauts. Time to see. Oh, your turn. Yay! Oh, this one comes differently. And what's that? Oh, it's in a package? Yeah. We should probably read instructions how to eat this. So this one costs $6. And according to the packaging, we should consume it as it is. So we're just gonna open it and see what's up with that. Wonder why they put it in a separate different packaging if you're eating it still as is. Oh, that is so weird. Comes in a little container and it's a little cracked. <laughs> it looks like the surface of a planet. Smell strawberry? Just put your whole nose in there. <laughs> yeah. I don't smell anything. Yeah, so for us, this absolutely smells like perfume. Perfume. It smells like nothing for me. It smells like perfumey, slightly. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same look as most of the other things that we've tried, but she says it smells like nothing. It really smells like nothing, but listen to this. I feel like it sounds like chalk. It's like you could take this to the sidewalk and probably draw with it. I would try, but there's too much snow on the floor. Ready? And One, two, three. Mm. So when you first bite into it, you can taste the cream. So it has like this creamy feel to it. And then you start getting this light strawberry flavor. But then as it melts, it really starts to coat your tongue with this kind of chalky, milky, not very pleasant texture. However, the flavor and the kind of overall experience of it, I really enjoy this. Zika? No, I'm not a fan. I can barely taste the strawberry to begin with. Mm-hmm. What was it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's too chalky for me, I think. And I barely taste the strawberry. So it just tastes like rotting milk to me. <laughs> that's gross. And so as a space person that's been exiled, exiled into, into space, space, I would probably rate this a six on 10. It's not the greatest, but it was kind of enjoyable. You did have that creaminess to it. Zika? I'd give it a four. Same thing as the custard, same kind of texture, weird coating in the mouth. Not a fan. So for you? So this goes in the trash. trash. Last but not least, we have strawberry shortcake. Which, again, I'm not a fan of cakes, generally speaking. You're weird. How do you not like cake? I'm not a fan. Okay, hang on. Real talk here. Cue sad music. I don't really understand why people feel- Hey! I'm having a serious conversation here. Go on. Let's put a block here so we can hide her. Cue sad music back again. I don't understand why people really like cake. I mean, it's just sweet bread with just this heavy, buttery kind of sugary frosting. It just wasn't my thing. Now, I don't know if you don't see, but I know exactly what you're doing behind my back, Zika. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually for real. Let me know, do you like cake, pie, or do you prefer some other kind of dessert? Personally, for my birthday, I just don't really care for cake, which is coming up in December. You get no. No. Yes. So let's see what the strawberry shortcake looks like. Nobody? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. 
pretty colors. It really does look like a strawberry shortcake. I love the fact that there's the strawberry type filling on top and then we can clearly see that there's cream and, and a sponge cake right in the middle. It looks so good. It really does. And it's time for a sniff test. Everything smells like perfume. <laughs> Is your nose broken? I think so. Did you broken it in your it's nose? Broken it. It actually smells like dried strawberries, kind of like the ones you would find in cereals. Think like Kellogg's. One of the things I noticed right away is on the strawberry part you can see mm. strawberry seeds yeah which means that if you're an astronaut exiled, exiled into, into space, space you could probably try to har i don't know if you can harvest the seeds and make your own strawberry field but are you done sniffing <laughs> you're like really going up there i think it's your hands that smell like perfume because i don't smell it anymore is it like hand soap or something <laughs> <laughs> I broke it in the No, it's your hands! They smell soapy or something. It smells like no waving sharp pointy things, especially when they're big like that. Too late! Don't wave big sharp pointy things, okay? Okay? She's out of control, guys. Alright, time for a cutting test. Let's see if this one does any better. And oh my gosh. Did it come off by layers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to try the strawberry separately first? Sure. Okay. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Please tell me we're not putting water on this one, are we? No. Okay. <laughs> and Ready? Go. Mmm. That's good. See, it does taste more strawberry. Not just more strawberry, but really like the strawberries mm. that they put in cereals, mm. right? Uh, yeah. It's like a dried strawberry. That's pretty much it. It's really good. Now time for the cake part. Oh my god. It's gonna... just gonna... Oh! Dust. Yeah. It is turning into dust. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Ready? Yeah. And go. go. I took the whole thing. This is really good. I think this is my favorite one so far. Really yummy. This is really good. I can't imagine how it would be eating the whole thing with the strawberry part, mm -hmm. but the tartness of the strawberry and the sweetness of the strawberry balances out the fact that the cake itself is actually not that sweet yeah. either. It's really good. By far, if I were a space person exiled, exiled into, into outer, outer space, space, I would have to rate it a nine and a half. I would even, I'm, I'm going for a 10. But let's, let's try it all together first. Okay. Watch your fingers, please. And get the bigger one. Ready? Go. Oh. I think it's my favorite one. What about you? Number one? No? So good. Hold on. Yummy? I'm what are you eating? trying to say? <laughs> so honestly, for me, the strawberry shortcake has got to be the best. Absolutely the best one. We are eating. Why is your tummy <laughs> growling so much right now? It's trying to digest. <laughs> And so the strawberry shortcake for our little palettes would definitely be worth your space. It would definitely be it would <laughs> would definitely be worth your, your space, space cash. <laughs> for me, I would rate the strawberry shortcake as first. Next would come rice. And then the rest kind of fall into last the place. same, yeah, they kind of just blur in together. I would probably rate the pudding above the rest, but that's just I'd me. actually put the chocolate cake first before oh, that. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below which one would you be most interested in trying? I'm curious like that, what, which one did you think you were gonna actually like the most? Was it the custard? I thought I was going to like the rice. The most? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be the custard that I was gonna enjoy the most. Oh. Yeah, because I, I am a huge custard fan, so. But unfortunately, texture comes into play. Yep. And I know that many of you grains hate some textures, so. And it's funny because actually, I don't usually eat strawberry shortcake. I don't like it. Me neither. <laughs> I don't like cake. I still think that's weird. This week's shoutouts go to Indoraptor Queen, Axis Does Art, Rhea Mishra, Tet Tablet, Spazzy Bunny, and Daria Marinescu. Remember, if you want to shout out my videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCraft on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook anytime with any of your creations. And if you want to get a hold of Sika, you can find me on Instagram at NerdySister underscore Sika. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.